Welcome back to Story Recaps. Today I'm going to explain the movie, Bicentennial Man, released in the year 1999. At the beginning of the movie we see Martin, who lives with his wife and two young daughters. Martin's elder daughter's name is Grace, and younger daughter's name is Amanda. One day Martin brings a box to his house, inside which is a robot. This robot is not a common robot, rather it is a very intelligent robot. When Martin activates the robot, then the robot tells him about three laws. One law is that these robots will not attack any human. There is two law, that they always have to obey the order of humans, but they will never obey the order, in which they are asked to kill another human. There is three law, that the robot has to always save its existence. Seeing all this, the whole family of Martin is very much surprised. Martin's younger daughter Amanda loves this robot, so she names him Andrew. But Martin's elder daughter Grace, does not like this robot at all. Next, Martin gives Andrew a place to live in the basement, and sets him to do the housework. After which Andrew starts his work, he cleans the entire basement, and while cleaning, he finds an old worn out phonograph. Andrew repairs that phonograph and fixes it. One day, Grace calls Andrew to her, and asks him to jump down the window with the wrong order. Andrew agrees according to his rule, and jumps down from the window. When Martin comes to know about these things, then he is very angry with his daughters. He tells his daughters, that even though it's a robot, but from today, everyone will treat him like a human, because this robot is now a part of our family, and we should respect him. Now the next day, the whole family of Martin comes to the beach for a vacation. While Amanda was playing on the beach, Andrew comes to her. Amanda gives him a glass toy, but that toy accidentally falls down and breaks, which makes Amanda very sad. Andrew is also very sad to see Amanda sad. Andrew comes back to the basement, here he builds a beautiful wooden horse for Amanda, and puts it in Amanda's room. Amanda is very happy when she sees that toy, and from this their friendship begins. The next day, when Martin sees that toy, he is quite surprised, he tells his wife, how a machine can make such a beautiful toy using its imagination and creativity. That same night, Martin hears some noise from the basement, when he comes there to check, then he sees, that Andrew is listening to a song by turning on the phonograph. Martin is quite surprised to see all this. So the next day, he brings Andrew back to the same company. From where he bought it, Martin meets the company's CEO Dennis Mansky here, and shows him a toy made by Andrew. Martin says that human emotions have come inside this robot, such as befriending someone, and understanding his feelings. Martin asks the CEO if all these things were already installed inside it. Hearing this, Dennis says no he is just a robot, inside which we have installed only a normal program, so that he can do the housework of the people. And if you think that this robot is not right, then you can return it, and take another robot. But Martin says that no, I do not want to replace it, saying this he leaves with Andrew. Coming home, Martin makes some changes to Andrew's program, so that he can develop his hobbies even more. Martin teaches Andrew how to live like a human. Time passes slowly, and now Andrew becomes a part of the Martin family. Every day he makes different wooden things with his creativity. One day, Andrew sees Martin and his wife spending time together. Andrew does not understand anything about, what they are both doing. At night, Andrew asks Martin about him. Then Martin tells him about human feelings, how one person is attracted to another person. Hearing all these things, Andrew gets to learn something new here. One day, Amanda teaches Andrew to play the piano. She is now grown up playing the piano. After all these years, Martin and his wife were old, but Andrew was still the same, as he was brought up. Martin says here, that he will sell all the wooden things that Andrew has made. Amanda also agrees for him, but she says, that whatever money we get after selling those things, we will give those money to Andrew, because he made them. But Martin explains to him and says, that we should not be so emotionally attached to Andrew, because he is just a machine. But Amanda does not consider Andrew a machine, because he has been with him for so many years. Now because of Amanda's insistence, Martin has to obey her. After a few days, Martin sells all the toys made by Andrew. Martin, with the help of his lawyer, opens an account in Andrew's bank, and deposits all those money in it. Amanda had grown up now, so she was now going to marry a guy named Frank. Amanda arrives to tell the good news of her marriage to Andrew, who was working in the basement. While talking, Andrew's attention is diverted from work, due to which one of her fingers is cut off by the machine. Amanda thought that maybe she liked Andrew, but she knew that Andrew did not understand this feeling, because he's a robot. While leaving here, Amanda asks Andrew to come to her wedding, after which, Martin comes to Dennis to get Andrew's finger fixed. Martin tells Dennis, that if you tampered with Andrew's program in any way, then there will be an alarm, due to which the police will come here, and I will get you arrested. Actually, Martin did not want Dennis to make any changes to Andrew's system. Andrew says here, that can he upgrade his face expression? Danny says, yes we can upgrade that thing, but it will take a lot of money. All the money that Martin had collected by selling toys made by Andrew, he uses the same money to upgrade Andrew's face expression. After this, we see that today is Amanda's wedding, and Andrew comes here wearing a shoe. Andrew's face expression has completely changed now, he could laugh and cry now. 
After marriage is over, Martin was sitting alone in one place, then here comes Andrew, he shows video of Martin and his daughter dance. But Martin says that now I am single, both my daughters are married, and my wife has also passed away, now there is no one in my life. Hearing this, Andrew says sir I will always be with you, listening to this, Martin says thanks to him. After this we are shown a scene after 12 years, we see Amanda has a son named Lloyd, who does not like Andrew at all. One day, Andrew tells Amanda he needs freedom, he wants her to be with him, but he has to see this world, he has to roam in new places. In the night, Andrew comes to Martin and gives him a check, he says that he wants freedom in return for that check. Martin is very sad to hear this, because his old friend now wanted to leave him. Martin is angry with Amanda, because he thought, that Amanda had given Andrew the idea to travel the world, but she explains to her father and says, that you have given her new books to read, due to which her memory has grown, and only after reading those books, he has thought about her freedom. Guys, you can imagine here, that when a robot can change itself so much by reading books, then how much we humans can change ourselves by reading books. While we come back to our story, Martin decides to free Andrew. Next day, Martin gives back his check to Andrew and says, that from today you are free, and you can go wherever you want from here. Saying this Martin gets very sad. Andrew leaves the house after saying goodbye to Martin. Andrew buys land by the sea, and builds a wonderful wooden house here. He also makes small wooden toys here, which he sells and collects money for himself. Andrew has been living here for 16 whole years. One day, Amanda comes to meet Andrew at his house. Amanda, now old, tells Andrew that her father Martin is very ill, and he just wants to see you once. Hearing this, Andrew immediately comes to meet Martin. Martin tells him, that I never said, thanks to you for being with our family for so many years, but today I say, thanks to you. He puts his hand on Andrew's hand, after which he dies. Andrew is quite surprised to see this, and he realizes here, that he does not have to be alone in this world, he has to roam this whole world, and find a robot like himself. So, Andrew goes out to roam the world, he goes to different countries of the world, and tries to find a robot like himself, but he does not find a robot like him anywhere. One day, Andrew learns there is a guy in Francisco, who makes robots like him, so Andrew leaves for Francisco. Upon reaching Francisco, Andrew sees a female robot looking like himself in a market, which was very active, the name of that robot was Galatea, which Andrew is very happy to see. Finally Andrew found the robot he was looking for, but Galatea was so active, because his personality chip was on, that is, he was programmed, Galatea attends a warehouse, where Andrew meets his owner, Rupert Burns. Rupert tells, that his father used to work in NDR company, but he was fired from that company, after which he started his own company here, and started making robots, but after the passing of my father, I do his work now, Rupert says that I am making a suit for robots, wearing which the robots will look exactly like a human, but I don't have enough money, to complete my project quickly. When Andrew sees all these things, then he tells Rupert, that I will give you money to complete your project, but in return you have to make a suit for me too. Hearing this, Rupert agrees, and after a few days he prepares a suit for Andrew. After wearing that suit, Andrew looks like a 40-year-old man, he is overjoyed to see his new look. After this, he goes to meet Amanda at her house, here he sees a young girl, who looked exactly like Amanda, this girl gets scared seeing Andrew, then here comes Amanda, who is quite old now, she touches Andrew and recognizes him. The girl we just saw here who looked like Amanda, was the granddaughter of Amanda, whose name is Portia. After this Andrew comes to his house, we see that Andrew has adopted a dog, and he lives with him. One day, Andrew learns that Amanda has suffered a heart attack, due to which he comes to the hospital to meet her. Here Amanda had the same toy, that Andrew had made her in childhood. Seeing this, he becomes very emotional. Amanda thanks him for his friendship, after which he also dies here. Andrew becomes very depressed after his friend passes away, after which he comes directly to Rupert, and tells him that he wants to transplant synthetic organs inside him, so that he can become like a real human. It was very difficult for Rupert to do this work, but he still agrees to do that work. After some time, Rupert's experiment is successful, and he creates synthetic organs for Andrew. Rupert tells Andrew, that if you will have a lot of pain while transplanting synthetic organs in your body, are you ready for that? Andrew says, yes I am ready. During this, Andrew used to meet Portia every day, due to which both of them start liking each other. During a party, both come very close, they were both going to be intimate, but Portia controls herself. Next day, she meets Andrew and tells him, that she cannot love a robot. Andrew is very sad to hear that, and he comes straight to Rupert. Rupert operates on Andrew and transplants synthetic organs into his body. Andrew happily comes to Portia's house, and tells her that he is now fully human. He asks her to put her fingers in his eyes. When Portia does this, then Andrew gets pain. Portia is very happy to see this. Andrew says that we should get married now, but Portia refuses to marry, because she is going to be married to Charles in a few days. Hearing this, Andrew silently leaves from here. A few days later, Andrew comes to Portia's engagement party with Rupert, both of whom were hiding here, 
Andrew says, that he is jealous seeing Portia with someone else. Rupert says, that you are feeling jealous, which means you have fallen in love with Portia. After this both come back home, Rupert says here, that he is going to bring a new modifications, after which Andrew will be able to feel the things, and he will become completely human. After this, Andrew meets Portia, he proposes her, but Portia refuses for him, and starts leaving from here, but Andrew stops her, and asks her to kiss once, after which Portia kisses her, due to which their relationship starts from here. The next day Andrew eats like a human, because now he had human organs all over his body. Portia says here that this world will not accept our relationship, because you are a robot and I am a human. Hearing this, Andrew files a case in court and says, that he should be given the status of being a human. Andrew used to feel pain, and he felt all things, he could do all things like a human. Even after that, he loses his case, because every person grows old and dies one day, but Andrew was a robot, due to which he can never grow old, nor will he ever die. So the judge refuses to give him human status. Now many years pass, Portia was now 75 years old, due to which she was looking old, but Andrew was still the same, Portia says that you are still as you were before, you are immortal, but Andrew tells her, that through today's technology you can live with me forever, but Portia refuses to do so and says, that a person is not made to live forever, a person is born, he becomes young, he grows old and then one day he dies, but you will remain as you are. Hearing all this, Andrew leaves from here, Andrew remembers one thing about Martin, Martin told him that humans grow with time, but time will never end for you, this thing was troubling to Andrew, so he thinks that he does not have to live till another world, he has to live with only one person, and that is Portia. Andrew again goes to Rupert, Rupert has now become a very rich man, whose robotics company is now very advanced, Rupert was now very old, Andrew tells him to turn me completely into a human being. Rupert says, that when synthetic organs were put inside you, then a liquid was poured to run those organs, but now we will put blood in the place of that liquid, after which you will become fully human. Rupert tells him one more thing, that blood will start ending slowly in your body, after which, after 30 to 40 years you will get old and die. Andrew also agrees to this. Now many more years pass, Andrew once again files his case in court, at this time Andrew was old, and his age is 200 years old, Andrew tells the court, that he has always wanted to live like a human, and now this is not a machine, the court asks for some time to deliver its verdict. After some time, we see Portia and Andrew on the life support machine, here we see Rupert's robot Galatea, who has now become a human, and she is here taking care of Portia and Andrew. Today the court gives its verdict, both Portia and Andrew were holding each other's hands, the court gives Andrew the status of being a human, and their marriage is considered legal, but before hearing all this, Andrew dies, Portia is very sad to see this, and tells Galatea to shut down her life support machine, due to which he also dies here. And this beautiful story ends here.